Hello, my name is Kim Coventry, and today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest breakfast ever invented. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitKim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. So with my new schedule, um, over the last oh, six months or so, I've been getting up between 3.45 and 5 a.m. every day. And it's very hard to get a healthy breakfast if you aren't prepared in the morning. So I'm going to show you a super quick way. The biggest objection to people eating bre breakfast that I hear is they don't have enough time. So I'm going to prove you wrong right now. I'm going to show you how easy this is. What you're going to do is you're going to do this, all of this the night before. It is going to save you so much time in the morning. Just get a small bowl and I will have the ingredients, the directions, and the nutritional content posted on my blog. So just watch the video, don't worry about taking notes. So I have half a cup of quick cooking oats. Now the only difference between these and the old fashioned rolled oats is that they, uh, these are more processed. What that means is instead of having the whole entire oat, they're split into uh, maybe half of the oat or in a few smaller pieces for each oat. So it just allows it to quick cooker, or cook quicker. So go ahead and pour your oats in your bowl. Then what I'm going to do is heavily sprinkle it with cinnamon. So if you don't like cinnamon, you'll see that it's not very potent in this. Um, but the more you like cinnamon, add, add more to it. So what I'll do is I'll just put enough on there to cover up the top of the, the oats. And then I will go ahead and uh, add some more again. I just love cinnamon. Cinnamon's very healing. It's good for the body. So if you like cinnamon, add as much as you can. So kind of stir that up. Then what you're going to do is take protein powder. Uh, vanilla protein powder works best. If you're going to use your scoop that comes with the protein powder, do about a third of the scoop. So to give you an idea, it's about two tablespoons. So you're just going to add the vanilla protein powder in there. Then what you're going to do is I have um, about a half a tablespoon of flax seed here. It's ground flax. You could probably do up to about one tablespoon. And I just like to stir it all together. Then I have one tablespoon of raisins. Raisins are very calorie dense. They're very nutritional as far as how much you get for a little amount. So just be very careful that the raisins don't go crazy. You can actually completely omit the raisins if you're, uh, raisins if you're watching your sugar. And then I have uh, one tablespoon of mixed nuts. If you haven't seen my healthy trail mix recipe, check it out. That's what that is right there. And another option to this is fresh or frozen berries. So blueberries, raspberries, any kind of berry works great. So just mix all of that together. And if you can keep an eye on the clock, you can see that it just took a minute or two to put that together. So this is step one. You do this the night before and then you can just uh, put this in. I just leave it on the counter because it's just overnight. It's not a big deal. Um, you can put it in the refrigerator if you wanted to or seal it in a container. Um, but I am just going to leave it on the counter. So that's your first step and then I'm going to show you part two. This is what you're actually going to do in the morning. Okay, now we're on to step two. Now this would be the morning of. So go ahead and get ready for the morning and then I usually eat right before work. So take a small saucepan and fill it up to uh, enough water that you think will cover your oatmeal and then you can just get rid of whatever you don't use. So I am actually put in probably about half a cup to a, one cup, not very much. You're going to bring it up to high heat and then while that is boiling, it does not take long at all, I'll get my oatmeal out, uh, put my uh, lunch items in the cooler for the day, fill up my water bottle, and then by the time that's done, this thing is going to be boiling. So it only takes a minute or two. All right, so my water just came to a boil. So what I do is I pour a little bit in and mix it up so that way the oats can start to absorb the boiled water. And then what I'll do is I'll add a little more until I get the des desired consistency that I want. Some people like theirs thicker, some like theirs to be a little bit more liquidy. I don't like it to taste dry, so I probably add more water than most people. <laughs> so then you just mix it up. And because you're adding the hot water to dry ingredients, it actually will cool down right away. So you don't even have to wait to eat it. When I do the slow cooking method for oatmeal, which I have a, another video, it's uh, Fit Kim's Easy Oatmeal. That one take is pretty hot right when you go to eat it. So this one you can eat right away. 
So that is all there is to it. And I will have a picture on my blog. Again, I'll have directions and all that fun stuff. So as you can see, if you time this out, it takes a one to two minutes at night before you go to bed to put everything in the bowl. And then it takes one to two minutes for the water to heat up on the stove. Maybe you can put your lunch together for the next day. That's it. I think that's probably the, that's as fast as probably grabbing a granola bar and trying to inhale it as you walk down the steps, which is not good for your body, by the way. So this is a good, healthy way for you to start the day with the protein, the oatmeal, the nuts, and the flaxseed give that, that healthy fat. You've got carbs in there um, and the protein combination that's going to cause a nice slow digestion. It's going to keep your blood levels very, uh, blood sugar levels very even for hours to come. That way when you get to work, you're not hungry an hour later. So try this out. Tell me what you think. And again, if you have variations, post a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe at FitKimTV on YouTube and go to my blog at FitKim.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.